Hello, welcome. Try this problem out. Give it a shot. Press play when you're ready and we'll solve it together. Okay, so look at the directions here. It says use the laws of logarithms to expand the expression below. So we have three laws that we're going to be using here. Where the, we have the log of AB for any base, let's say little a, equals the log of base A of A plus the log base A of B. That law is going to help us out in a lot of situations. We also have log base A of A divided by B, which is the same as log base A of A minus log base A of B. And finally, what I call the clog law, if we have log base A of A to the C, that's equal to C times the log base A of A. And it looks like the word clog, so that helps me remember it. Uh, for me, I think the first law I want to use is right here. I see the quotient of these two things, so just follow that template. This is log base 4 of x to the 4th minus log base 4 of 4. Now here, we just keep applying laws of logarithms until there's nothing left to simplify. So in this first one, this first term right here, we can now use our clog law. We have this little exponent of 4, we can bring it in the front. So that's 4 times the log base 4 of x. And minus, now this 4 to what power is itself? That's 1, and we're done. I'm not really using a log so much in that step, but a definition of logs. And just to clarify why that is, 4 is our base. 4 to the first power equals 4. So this equals 1 because the logarithm is t describing what the exponent equals that relates this base here to this result. 4 to the first gets 4, and that's just 1. All right, hope this helped.